chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is falling. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand you read me. Doesn't matter if it's Christmas. I just got in a fight. I can't tell if friend one and friend two are bags or leftover mascara. I'm gonna find out right now. If these are bags, then I have more of a problem than I thought. It's actually, well, what day is this? I think you're watching Vlogmas day 14. Holy crap, two weeks of this. It's two in the morning. The only reason I turn the camera on, because typically I don't start a Vlogmas video until like, the morning of. Technically it is the morning of, if we're getting technical. The past two nights, my nighttime anxiety has just been so bad. Sometimes the most comforting thing when you're feeling anxiety is to know that other people feel it too. Or maybe that's just me. So I just thought I would come on here and talk a little bit about nighttime anxiety and what that looks like for me. And if you relate, I'm sorry, that sucks. But I'm with ya. My nighttime anxiety is irrational. It doesn't make sense. And it's very toxic to my mental health. It's very toxic to my personal being. I'm very mean to myself at night and I am very self-doubting at night. I mean, I'm low-key dramatic at night. I'm not talking just at two in the morning. I would say I have about an hour or two after the sun goes down before my brain just starts to run a million miles a minute thinking of the worst possible things that can happen in every situation. And it's so, it sucks. It keeps me up. It's the reason I'm up at two in the morning. It's the reason I have these bags. The only other time I get this bad of anxiety is when I'm in public. <laughs> or not all the time in public, just about 50% of the time. When I'm traveling, for some reason when I'm traveling, I feel like my life is over. Over. My career is over. I don't have a future. It's really bad. I also get anxiety over food, pleasing people. By the way, I'm not doing this as a skincare routine. You've watched me do this probably 14 times in the last two weeks. This is a mindless task that just helps my brain streamline. Anxiety looks different in everybody. I have generalized anxiety, so I feel like this in a lot of different situations, but it definitely gets worse at night. I'm getting a pimple. No idea if these actually work. I wish I had an ending to this discussion, but I forgot. Moral of the story, no matter what type of anxiety you are experiencing, it will pass. It's okay to feel what you are feeling. Sometimes it is helpful to tell yourself that the feelings that you're experiencing aren't forever. They aren't the end of the world. A lot of what you are thinking about and feeling is very extreme, but don't completely invalidate yourself. Don't sit and tell yourself that like you're wrong for feeling the way you're feeling. For me, I think every person watching this will probably have something different that helps them when they're having anxiety. For me, I pray a lot and that can look different for everybody regardless of what you believe in. That's what I find comfort in. All of the things that are in my head, I just say and I get out there and I kind of release control over and it makes me feel better. And I just know that I am doing my best to be a good person. I know that there's more to me than just my anxiety. Even though I'm feeling this way right now, I'll probably feel fine in the morning. Not how I typically start off my videos, but I figured I would vlog today like you're a fly on the wall. I would say like a private story, but I don't know that people post this shit on their private stories. I've never actually had a private story. So I guess this could be my version of a private story. Mama Kelly is sleeping right on the other side of that wall. I should probably do the same. <sighs> Ooh. I got this hours ago and it is still cold. This is expensive, but it's worth it. I did not pay 80 bucks for this. I think I paid 40, which in my mind is still a ridiculous amount to spend in a water bottle. But it keeps your water cold and it fits in a cup holder. I don't know how many times I'm gonna tell you to buy this cup in the next. Oh, are we, 
we're officially over halfway. So I don't know how many times I'm gonna tell you to buy this in the next two weeks, but I would put a link to it. But I don't want you guys to think that the link is me trying to make money off of you buying this water bottle. Because I wouldn't be making any money off you buying the water bottle. Maybe I'll scour the internet for a cheaper version of this for you to buy. Or if you know a cheaper version, you should comment it below. can't lay down. Usually when I feel this way, I turn the camera off. And I obviously can't leave the camera on like the whole time, but I just want you guys to realize that if you experience things like this and thoughts like this, like where I, like, I don't know what to do with myself right now, not because I'm bored or anything, because my stomach is in knots, my thoughts are running so fast for no logical reason. So I don't know how to talk myself out of it because I don't know what's causing it. What are five things you can see? My painting over there on the wall, the bulbs of my Christmas tree, a basket of dirty clothes that I should probably wash, a clear chair, and a water bottle. Five things that you can hear. This might be tough. I can hear the road outside. I just heard myself itch my fupa crack. What I presume is the air conditioning or the heat. And I hear the insides of my ears. It probably doesn't make sense, but it makes sense to me. I heard my blanket move. Five things you can feel. These are some soft sheets. These sheets feel really soft. I can feel the roughness of my big toe. I feel cold air as I push past it. Right now I can feel the pants against my leg underneath my butt cheeks. I can feel my retainer squeezing my teeth. I'm gonna try to go to bed now. That is something I do when my anxiety gets really bad, like on the verge of a panic attack. We talk to ourselves. It's a grounding experience. <laughs> Good morning, I need to make coffee because I need to go to my singing lesson. I'm running on three hours of sleep and I have this much energy. Banking on this to bring me back to life. It was confirmed by a few baristas that putting the syrup at the bottom does, that's a lot of syrup or is it a small cup? It was confirmed by some of you guys that this helps the shot from like going stale or burning. enough slices. I constantly have random TikTok sounds going through my head every single day. I feel like I also have a song of the day in my head and it doesn't necessarily have a meaning or a purpose or a where or a why. I may not have heard the song of the day in 10 years, but it's still gonna be the song of the day. I can't even see what I'm doing. This has been so boring for you. Please forgive me. Like a week ago. Now my vagina hurts. Well, no, it itches. Private story. Let's see if it's as good as last time. It's good. I think I put too much syrup though. It's only 8 30. Wanna come say good morning? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my god. I'm more anxious for my voice lesson right now than I have been. I can't say in months because I haven't been going for months. I was past the point of anxiousness when it comes to this, but for some reason, I think because it's been three weeks since I've been, now I'm anxious again. But I'm sure we're gonna find a way to make today great. I was a little bit confused as to how I'm ready so early. I mean, granted, I could be doing a little bit more with myself, but we're not. It's because I got up early assuming that I was gonna go for a walk. 
what, 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 what made me think that was gonna be a thing? So now here we are. What do you even do with all this extra time? I was coming over here to film Mama Kelly's really cool sweatshirt. Out of the corner of my eye, I just see a little something on the table. What the fuck is that? I know that rapper all too well. That's a quick trip rice crispy treat. You brought a quick trip rice crispy treat all the way from Wisconsin. I'm pissed at you. You didn't want to share? Well, it was half eaten. And then the other half for me. <laughs> I've always forgotten. Never love, never appreciated. I was gonna give your sweatshirt a whole moment, now I'm mad, but it is cool. You still love me though. Can you please tell them that I did get you pizza? Yeah, she got me pizza. Yeah, in fact, there's still some pizza in there. I give the woman what she wants. We made it to the voice lessons. La 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 la. La 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 la. All I can really think about right now is food. See, I'm not hungry. Well, I had a Rice Krispie treat. And? Turtles. I also might shit my pants. I have to piss my pants. Well, what, does she have a bathroom? Of course she I've does. I've never asked. Yeah, but for people? Yeah. You want me to come and watch your lesson? If you want. That'd be so neat. Okay. Are you good with that? Well, I do not give a fuck. Singing in front of people is so scary when it's not Mama Kelly. Cause I don't give a fuck. I can't judge because I can't even hold a tune. But you're the dancer. You want to dance moves. You, you're looking in, like right in the right place. I can do some moves. position where staccato would originate because your chords are closed that would be a deeper root of flow. So when you hold your breath and come together, yeah. it's instinct. The voice lesson's over. I'm a professional singer now. No, actually voice lessons are so hard because I'm trying to train my voice to not sing the way I would normally sing. That way I can sing in multiple different ways and it's just complicated and most of you probably don't care so I'm not gonna sit and get into it. But, do you wanna know what I'm thinking about right now? I'm thinking about queso. Mexican food. So I'm gonna get queso and it might make my pants a little bit tighter and it might make my butt Pull a little bit looser. There's a place in East Nashville that I have never ate that I want to eat and I keep going to the same places So we're gonna go there today instead. It's called Rose Pepper Cantina. Let's go package that I did not pay for. Packages that you didn't pay for are always the best because you don't have to feel buyer's remorse. I have no guilt opening this box right now. I think this is from Milani New. It is. Shut up. I'm gonna have to start taking pre-workout just to stay alive. Greens and pre-workout. Oh, this is what I needed. Milani News. Honestly, I could use a midday pick-me-up. Maybe I should have the greens since I'm so bloated from the Mexican food. Can we take a second to admire this cup? Mama Kelly is sleeping. Last night has really been throwing me off today. I really feel like I just need to relax. But there's also so much around the house that I could be doing. This evening's festivities are gonna start in a few hours. We're not doing anything that exciting. Later that same evening. Entertainment's here. I've been wanting to do this ever since I saw it on TikTok like a year and a half ago, two years ago. I don't know how old this is, but as you can see displayed in front of you, we have a variety of different Cokes, Pepsi, Diet Cokes, Dr. Pepper, Coke Zero. I've been really competitive recently and I need to win things. So I have challenged Mama Kelly and Sam to see which one of us can get the most of these correct. I'm gonna make a list in my phone okay. of your guesses. That way we can compare at the okay. end. I don't know that I can reach. I guess I didn't think about the height difference. Mm -hmm. Do what you gotta do for the vlog. I'm gonna start over here. Uh-huh. That's gonna be so hard. Can I change my answers as I go? I think so, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna guess. And I'll probably change this. I didn't think about your prosmia affecting this whole thing. We're going with Coke. <laughs> this is hard. You can lift it up more too if you need to. Pepsi. That one tastes better than whatever the fuck that was. Coke Zero? Scooting over. 
That's Coke. How high can that straw go? They can all go pretty high. Oh, okay. You'll know it's too high if you're not getting anything. One of the Dr. Peppers, but I won't know until I have the other Dr. Pepper. To be honest, diet Dr. Pepper and Dr. Pepper taste the same with my parosmia, so. Oh my god, what is that? That one's not good. Oh. It's gotta be your prosmia though, I'm telling you. Coke zero. What is that? Diet. I'm gonna go Coke for now. That's the same exact shit as that. <laughs> Diet Pepsi. That is another Dr. Pepper right there. So which one of you is Diet? <laughs> That's Diet Dr. Pepper. That's regular Dr. Pepper. Oh, she passed away? I'm gonna go through and test these again now that I have my initial thoughts. Coke, Pepsi, Coke Zero. You're gonna tell me that's not Coke too? Coke yeah, I'm gonna skip it. Die, Dr. Pepper. Let me just try the next one. <laughs> huh, that's Dr. Pepper. Diet Pepsi. That's Diet Coke from a can and that's Diet Coke from a bottle. But then I'm confused as to what's left over here. You that's, need, you need Coke Zero. I'm the director. I'm Samantha Joe. This was not my idea though. I'm just directing. I didn't produce. But producing, what is producing? Is that the same as directing? Produce. Okay, what I've got going on? This is a contraption if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Thank you, you did a great job, Sam. Thank you very much. So I just suck it? Yeah, you just and suck it. I suck it. This is a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, I mean, when you get that off. I see why she was having a yeah, problem. Yeah, that, that's what the stool's for if you need it. That's a Diet Coke. But I've never had Coke Zero ever. That's gonna be the one that's gonna get me. This is really a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I think that's some kind of Pepsi. I'm just gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna go with this being the Coke Zero. I'm gonna say this is Diet Coke from a can, and this first one was Diet Coke from a bottle. This is a lot harder than I thought, but you know, Okay. The good things in life are difficult. Dr. Pepper, but I've never had diet Dr. Pepper. Is one of them diet Dr. Pepper and one Dr. Pepper? Yeah, I got one of Okay, each. I'm gonna have to get to the other Dr. Pepper before I decide which one is diet. That's regular Coke. <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with diet Pepsi there. Okay, I'm gonna go, that one was regular Dr. Pepper. This one I didn't do, did I? The only one you don't have on this list right now is the Pepsi Zero Sugar. We'll just say that one is, I'm gonna go with it. I'm ashamed of myself right now, but that's what I'm gonna go with. Samantha! Would you get five better than three? You got seven. <laughs> so this first one, Sam said it was Coke. You said it was Diet Coke in the bottle. It is Diet Coke in the bottle. Do not lie! Do not lie! The second one, Sam said Pepsi. Mama Kella said Pepsi, and it is Pepsi. Yeah, I knew that. The third one, Sam said Pepsi Zero Sugar, and Mama <laughs> Kelly said Coke Zero. It is regular Coke. You both got oh. that one wrong. Fourth one, uh -huh. Sam said Coke Zero. Yeah, I'm not confident. Mama Kelly said Diet Coke in a can, it is Diet Coke in a can. <sighs> they all taste like Prosmia. That's what I was worried about. Anything that's zero sugar or diet tastes like Prosmia, so they all taste similar, okay? You're getting a little angry at this game. What would you do with that Diet Coke for you? I would be sad. Exactly. <laughs> you you don't know how it. The fifth one, the one in the middle, you both got right. It is I talked to Pepper. Next is this one. I try to put this out there. That's the worst fucking thing I ever put in my mouth. You both got it wrong. You said it was Diet Pepsi. And you said it was Coke, but it's Coke Zero Sugar. That is fucking vile. That's closer. But maybe I can just tell it's not Coke because Prosmia. Prosmia. Yeah. How many times have I said that word? Like 50,000. Like if it's the word of the day, like on PV Herman's, it would be going, <laughs> Pee Pee Herman. No, you've never what? seen Pee Wee Herman? <laughs> Next, Sam said Diet Coke. Mama Kelly said Diet Pepsi, and it is Diet Pepsi. Okay. Next, uh, Sam said it was Diet Coke in a can. Mama Kelly said Pepsi Zero Sugar. It is Pepsi Zero Sugar. And the last, 
We're not surprised it's Dr. Pepper. Ugh, is that Pepsi? I'm gonna say Pepsi. What the hell is that? Ew, what is that? You didn't put anything different in there? No. Why does that taste like perfume? I'm gonna say Coke, zero sugar. <laughs> I just typed and put Coke. I was trying to do Coke and I put Coke. It's Diet Dr. Pepper. I'm gonna say Diet Pepsi. Oh, I feel like I need to cleanse my palate. Did I say Diet Coke already? No. no. Oh, really? Okay, I'm gonna say that's Diet Coke. Ew. <laughs> what is that cherry taste? Did I say Pepsi Zero Sugar yet? We're gonna go with that. That is awful. I stopped right there. I need to brush my teeth right now. Ah! That tastes like Diet Coke. Diet Coke in a can. Yeah. Okay. This one is? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna change this to Coke. Okay, that's Diet Pepsi. And I probably got so many of those wrong, but. Okay, go ahead and tell me. You said the first one was Pepsi, Diet Coke in a can. Oh my God, okay. You said the second one was Coke Zero. Uh -huh. It is Coke Zero. You said the third one was Diet Dr. Pepper. It is Diet Dr. Okay. Pepper. The fourth one you said was, you have cum written down. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say well, that. <laughs> you said the fourth one was Coke. It's Pepsi Zero Sugar. You said that one is uh -huh. Diet Coke. It's Diet Pepsi. What is this one? Coke. You're kidding. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that is Coke, isn't it bio? That is awful. Dr. Pepper is next. You got that one. And then you said the next one was a Diet Coke in a can. It's Pepsi. And then you said the last one was Diet Pepsi. It's Diet Coke in a bottle. So you got three right. I have found myself in this position again on my bed. Very tired. Duncan's tired. I'm tired. We're all tired. Today might have been one of the weirdest days that I've had in a very long time. I don't know why. Anxiety? You could be having such a good day and all it takes is one moment of anxiety just to like send you into a spiral. I tried so hard today to change my mood around and I just couldn't do it. So maybe I just needed today to just feel all of the anxiety and to feel like a zombie and that way when I sleep tonight, I'll wake up a rejuvenated woman. Do we think that's gonna happen? Probably not, but it's worth a try. I feel like Gru from Despicable Me. Duncan's my minion. My goal is to fall asleep tonight before my anxiety sets in. Honestly, for the second half of today, I've just felt numb. And if you were to ask me what caused me to have anxiety last night to the point where I didn't sleep and then to feel so icky all day long today, my answer would be, I don't know. But we're gonna, but we're gonna figure it out. We always do. Maybe seeing somebody else go through anxiety, it might make you feel a little bit better or at least a little bit less alone. I can't really look you right now because the flash is on. I know there has to be a reason that I share what I share online. It's gotta be to help somebody else. Be gracious with yourself. That is advice I can give. So don't be too hard on yourself just because you had a bad day. A bad day doesn't have to mean a bad week. A bad day doesn't have to mean a bad 48 hours. You can feel the feelings and leave it in the past. And my goal is to wake up tomorrow and just try to have a little bit of a better day. We don't have to be perfect. We just are gonna do our best. I am gonna stick to my word and we are gonna do a comment of the day. I'm probably not gonna go through the comment section till tomorrow morning. So let's just look at what the top comments are. Brittany Mitchell said, Sam and Mama Kelly, I'm laying here with my four month old daughter, first of all, congrats, admiring your relationship. I didn't have the best relationship with my mom growing up, but seeing you two together gives me hope for things to be different. Thank you for keeping me company during the holidays this year. It's been a hard year. You're gonna be a great mama. I have so much faith in you. I know that the relationship I have with my mom is something very special and I am so grateful for it and I would not trade it for anything in the entire world. Right, Duncan? I know you are a great mom and I I love you. Seeing you guys appreciate Mama Kelly so much just makes me so happy because she deserves it. That's gonna be the comment for today. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have my head on a little bit straighter after a full night's rest. And maybe we can try and figure out what caused this anxiety for the past 36 hours. That way we can try and fight it from happening again. Anyways, I love you. You can't get rid of me quite yet. I'm still gonna keep coming back until Christmas. I mean, I guess you don't have to come back if you don't want to. But that's kind of lame. You've already committed this long. Good night from me and Donkey in Harlow. I don't even know where Dobby is. And we love you and we'll see you tomorrow.